Hey, how is it going? It's good to see you. I wish I could give you a hug. I really do. <laughs> well, what are we doing back in the office, Asia? What's going on today? Well, as I do, if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know that we go back and we add things and amend things. And I was going back through my recording <laughs> from the other day um, of the office because it just looked very empty to me and I was like oh my gosh really I needed to put a filing cabinet and some other little things so I pulled out a filing cabinet with some files on top because again these are some older folks and I imagine that a lot of them have been here for a very long time maybe they just have a little holdover from the era of no computers so we have that I've added a little cork board here for some community stuff um, it just kind of fills up that a little bit nicer it just kind of looks more realistic um, pull that down a little bit more um, added these little filey books, official type of things. Um, and then I added this little extra sofa table and lamp just to kind of give it a little bit more um, something because we've got these over here, but I kind of feel like we need something on this side as well. So that's how we're doing for today. Okay, in a video. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> We're still working on Zui and Du's apartment. Um, oh yeah, that's right, we're upstairs. Uh, so we're going to be completing today um, the second bedroom slash office area, little tiny bedroom here, and the um, outdoor space. And then we'll be done with the Lam Nyo apartment. Can you believe it? Yes, believe it. So we'll get that done today and then we'll be headed on to the next unit and have some lovely sims to meet. Um, it's like this odd time where the for rent pack hasn't come out yet and I'm not a game changer creator person so I'm not getting early access to this by any means. Um, so I don't have the pack yet so it's kind of like I'm limited now to eight sims. So just like everybody else, um, a lot without mods so I kind of have to be careful of how I'm going to be putting stuff I'm not adding pets I really want to but right now it's just not possible to do that and have everybody have um like enough people it, like actual sims so what I might consider doing is going back and kind of rejigging some of the units um after the pack comes out I believe it's on was it December 7th? Was sometime earlier December. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, let's get started on this room. And what I had in mind, because again, I think they have family coming over to visit and stuff. They probably have like a fold out couch um, or pull out couch. I don't know what it is. And then also I wanted to put some kind of a bunk bed, but I wanted it to be one that I had a desk under. Um... Just because I feel like that's pretty realistic. Uh, I look at look at me calling myself cute to pull over that door and then not have enough room. <laughs> so let me look at the swatches on this. I definitely just want a very plain and basic bed. Um, I'm either thinking the pretty flowers or just this one. I think I'll do that one. I won't go I won't go too flowery on this one. And some kind of a desk. And I, I also put the file cabinet in here too, because I kind of thought, you know how sometimes older people, but not just older people, but a lot of people, they'll just save papers that they're never gonna use again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all been there. We've all done that at some point in our life or still do that. Yeah. So let's see, what do we want? So I'm kind of thinking that one desk that has the, kind of the clutter on it, will it fit here or will it cut in? It's cutting in, wait, that's not even the one, hang on. Wait, isn't that the one? Yeah, that's the one. For some reason I felt like it had more clutter um, like in it. 
here. Um, let me see what I can do. And actually, let me even see. Let me turn off move objects. Okay, the way that snaps is weird. Maybe we'll put that on another part of the room and just have a regular bunk bed there and just kind of have this higgledy-piggledy um, a little bit. In fact, can I put this on an angle? Wait, wait, I thought move objects was off. What is happening? Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Move it out from the wall, so I'll probably put some curtains on there a bit. Let's try to get some kind of chair just to kind of measure out where we're at here as far as space is concerned. Let's just grab a plain desk chair. I'll probably end up changing that one. And then since we're just doing a regular bunk bed, let's see what our options are. Again, I want it to be kind of plain. I don't want anything too fancy pants. Thinking maybe this one, but with the double bed or the double bed. You know what I mean. So it's the same one, but where's the other bed that looks like it? Oh, here we go. And then let's change to the swatch we had. That was a lot to go through to get to where we <laughs> to get to where we are. <laughs> do I want do I want them to be both blue or do I want them to be mismatched? Maybe I'll do one blue and one red since it kind of has the same black swatch for the metal part of it. Or ooh, it would be really cute to have like flowers. Yeah, like something kind of like mismatched like that, but they're both white. Yeah, I like that. I think that gives it a little bit more character. So we've got that going on. Let's go ahead and put our filing cabinet over here. Yeah, I mean, again, this was always a senior community, I want to imagine. So I think, like I said, that the two of these lovely Sims, they've probably been here since almost the beginning um, of opening maybe there was like one other tenant that lived in here for like a little bit um before them but they are pretty much like the long-term residents um so they haven't really updated anything and they've been living in here for quite some time themselves as a couple so their kids never lived here with them um maybe they moved in just as like their last kid went to college or something uh i don't know which is which is not <laughs> i don't know <laughs> the time <laughs> the time frames ain't framing but you gotta, you gotta just work with me. <laughs> okay, so let's get some curtains. Um, what did I use in the other places? Oh yeah, just those. Hmm, let me see. I'm thinking maybe I'll just use those blinds from the Nostalgia Living Stuff Pack. Let me see how that would work. Oh, I don't have custom content on. Okay, so let's see here. If I do, let's put it in another swatch, that kind of off swatch, off white swatch. I don't know, I'm not really liking that. Maybe over here on this one. Yeah, and then I can put, yeah, I like that because on the outside you can see. Um, and then maybe I'll put like an actual curtain here, like maybe these like I have throughout the entire house. Um, I'll put it like that and then maybe just have oops, some of those tracks that can go along. Oh, I hate how I have to like place these individually. Very annoying. There we go. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let's find some clutter and uh, some little knickknacks and things and I'll see you on the other side. All right, so we have pulled out a few things and let's take a look and see what we got. I got this photo. I imagine it's somebody's dad or uncle or something. I don't know. <laughs> some man that they know or are related to. 
And I'm also going to be putting in some little uh, random decor things because, um, again, this house has been here for a long time. So maybe grandkid or they were celebrating something and they wanted to keep, I don't know. Um, but yeah, they, they just have um, little random wall thingies that they put up. Um, I mean, that's pretty accurate to a family home or like some kind of home like that, um, especially when you have kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. So just going to put, put that there because I forgot I have a photo out that I wanted to put or um, a picture. I have this motivational <laughs> poster because <laughs> I wanted to be like, OK, maybe one of them worked someplace or one of their kids worked someplace and they shut down and like they were like, OK, you can have some of the office stuff. And for some reason, they took this motivational <laughs> poster <laughs> Maybe that, that got them through the day when they work there. I don't know. Um, I've got this little mat. I thought it would be nice because it's carpeted in here. We don't have anything like, a, you know, to really put down. So this is one of those underfoot things. But we're pretending like it's one of those mats you can put under your rolly chair if you have a rug or a carpet. And then I've got a couple little clutter things. I've got these little books, which I've sized down from the Nostalgia Living Stuff pack. Again, the only pack we're going to be using... Um, in these units, I've got a little mug and random basketball, just because, again, it's a catch-all for, like, everybody's stuff. Let me put that maybe, like, over here. And I've got some VHSs, so which I'm going to put up here. Whoops. <laughs> just kind of make it more cluttered. <laughs> and... I've got a hamper as well. So I'm going to put that over here. Um, this is one of those non-functioning hampers. It just It's just for the look, you know. Um, but I do have a hamper um, in each one of the units so that they can do their laundry. Um, I noticed that some of the, someone had taken off their clothes and left it in the breezeway. So we'll be collecting those um, before this goes on the gallery. <laughs> okay. So, um, I've added a few more touches, which I'll show you, but let's go ahead and complete the, um, uh, gosh, the outside area, the patio. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys, I actually um, went ahead and I put their storage stuff in here. I cluttered it up really good. Um, so there's a bunch of boxes, old furniture, gardening stuff, pool floaties, sled <laughs> You know, just some things that you would have in a storage area. Um, yeah, so I thought that was nice. Kind of adds to the story. Um, you know, it just looks like someone actually lives here and would like store their stuff. Um, and so let's go ahead and work on the patio. I went ahead and I put out two planters on this patio because again, I wanted it to be where Dew has her little herb garden or her little um, cooking garden that she would have. Let me turn off move objects so I can see where we are here. A little seating area with four seats because I do think that they would entertain quite often with friends and family here. I feel like they have friends and family over just all the time. And a grill. And I went ahead and I pulled out just a couple of like flowers and, and things. I don't want to clutter up here too much. I want it to be routable and usable for the um, garden and then the cooking and eating and sitting areas. Um, but I went ahead and I pulled out this um, basket of flowers and these little cute grouped plants. And I also have this sun. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm going to put out here as well. I just think it's cheerful. It's from the base game. I never use it. Can I size it up one more? It's gigantic. Look at that. But that's amazing. I also have this little fish thing I almost forgot about too. Like a little wind, pretty play in the wind thing. I guess the wind blows. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's really cute. I don't want to put too much more. As I said, I don't want this to be where it's not usable. I will play test it, um, but I think that's the outside done. Very simplistic and cute, as well as the storage area and the second um, guest slash uh, guest bedroom slash office area. Um, and so I think that's the end of this. 
I went ahead and I pulled out also, I don't know how I could forget, this is an Asian household. I pulled out a shoe rack at the front uh, door because again, you gotta take your shoes off. It's very disrespectful not to do that. Um, I'll also be putting in one of those uh, no shoe sign things from the Escape the Snow Pack. Uh, so that Sims will automatically take their shoes off. Um, hopefully when they come in here, um, hopefully with the pack, I'm sure it'll be fine. I was going to say, hopefully with the packs, they won't take it off in all of the units. Um, I'm sure they will until the new pack comes out and they can like make everything organized and categorized by, um, by, by unit and by apartment. <laughs> So let's go ahead and look at the bathroom, which you've already seen. I'll put a little um, bath mat in there. That's the one thing I really didn't put yet. And I mean, you know, the bathroom is just the bathroom. Just nice and beige and glazed marble looking uh, <laughs> tiles. And I did get a toilet roll in there. Um, yep, so that's that. And for the front area to kind of round it off here, I've put some plants out, a little citrus uh, tree, a little seating or sitting area where they can go out in the evening and just look around and relax and gossip and <laughs> a little extra plant here as well. So with that can't believe that's the end of this household ah, gosh this was so fun to make look at the aesthetic here let's take a little tour let's take a little tour so when you first walk in zoom you are met with this lovely homey cozy area Whoa of the kitchen living room dining area and i mean it looks so lived in it looks so just like warm in here you know oops where's my bookshelves oh there we go all right um yeah and then i've got that little amp thing that's supposed to be kind of like a karaoke machine when they get a little juiced and they get a little uh song and dance going and oh let's go in the bedroom and stuff first here and I'll show you the kitchen as well again, a little bit closer. Got your spices and your fruit and your coffee, all the essentials. And then on into the bedroom. Ooh, yep, see there's the hamper I put down there. And let's go to the other side. Yep, just a basic little bedroom with a TV. And we'll go little pop our heads into the bathroom that we just saw. Oh, we're in the shower. Boop. Yep. It's a little dated bathroom. And then on through the hall. Why is my TV missing? Is it missing? No, it's just the way that everything doesn't load in right. <laughs> Got a linen closet through that door and into the second bedroom slash office area. Very cluttered, very homey, very old fashioned. Why is it peeking? I don't know. I'll figure out the roof. I don't know what's going on. Somebody help us. And then... <laughs> We are going into our out onto the balcony area here. So, whoop, wrong way. I know these are the worst. I give the worst home tours. I'm so sorry. So it's just a nice little simplistic area. Very good for entertainment. Okay, there's the other side of it. Jump through the umbrella and. You've seen this, it's gonna be cluttery. It's just the storage area. Ooh, that was weird. <laughs> the storage area. So what do you guys think? Are you oh we're in the, we're in the next we're in the next unit. Okay. There we go. 
I had a blast doing this. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Um, ah, this is like so much personality, so much story, so much rug texture. Ah, it's the best. <laughs> So next time we'll be introducing you to some new sims in a new unit um, or maybe a new sim. I haven't decided who I'm going to make yet. I have an idea of the people I want to make, but I'm not sure who I'm going to be doing first. So tune in next time and we'll meet a brand new pair of sims or sim. And until then, make some good choices. Find some peace today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.